with this chunky knit blanket. Next is candles. Stunning. Also smells really good. Beautiful chandelier. Favorite gay dramas of this month. Fashion favorites. Now when I look at it, it's more of an olive green shade, right? Huh? It's evening breakfast time. I made some coffee and my favorite Sabu Dana Tikki and Maggie. Hey my kitty cats, I'm your host Manvi and today I'm going to share my January favorites. It has been so gloomy and dark in the month of January but thankfully I had some of these things, my January favorites, which made this month a little bit better. So let's begin i have skincare makeup fashion home decor and my k drama favorite so i'm gonna super randomly start with this chunky knit blanket i got this from amazon i will link it in my description box but i wanted a chunky knit blanket which is cozy and also looks aesthetic but also a blanket which adds a bohemian vibe to my room and i'm super happy with this blanket also it's not too expensive i've been using this a lot in the month of january since i got it and the other home decor item is this cushion i got this from chumba and the shade of this cushion matches with my sofa the flowers in my sofa also love the pom-poms i will link it in my description box this beautiful chandelier i got this from amazon for just thousand rupees and it makes my room look so cozy i will link it in my description box and i put some lights into it and voila Next are these lenses. It's from O Lens in the shade Symphony Green and I am wearing it if you can see. These make my eyes look bigger and it's super comfortable. Like I used to use fresh look eye lenses before the O Lens but I switched completely to the O Lens. These are so comfortable and this shade is my favorite. It looks so beautiful on my skin tone, on Indian skin tone. Also it looks pretty natural so these are my January favorites. Now when I look at it, it's more of an olive green shade, right? Next are my fragrance favorites for a change. First one is this cologne and uh, this is from Jo Malone, Peony and Blush Suede. This cologne is so refreshing. It's a daytime wear. It's the right amount of floral, fruity, but also a little bit musky. So this is my January favorite. As you can see, I have almost finished this bottle. Jo Malone does some classy scents and I feel a little bit closer to the queen because I heard that she wears a rose from Jo Malone, Rosé. So this one is definitely top in my January favorites. Nice. Next is this Dio. This is from Nika and this is the Sea Salt range again. I have told you that I really love the scent of Sea Salt. It's like ocean and very fresh. So this is for 279 rupees. Very good for college going girls. If you're a guy, you can use this. It's unisex and it's very refreshing. I also have other variants in this Dio but I prefer this one and I used it the most in the month of January. So now let's talk about my January favorite lippies. I have two lip glosses and I also have two lip tints. First, let's talk about these lip tints. It's from Etude House. I have the shade in Ice Persimmon and this pink shade. Maraschino Cherry. I am wearing both of these today because I couldn't decide between these two. But if I had to choose one, I would choose the Iced Persimmon. It's a beautiful peachy pink shade. Also, it looks very, very natural on the lips. It gives that lip plumping effect to my lips and also it makes me look more younger. Like it gives that youthful look which Koreans have. After my Benefit Go Go Tint and Love Tint, I used the Iced Persimmon and this Maraschino Cherry most. Also, these are decently priced. Now, let's talk about my favorite lip glosses, which is also affordable. And these are the e.l.f. lip glosses. I have the shade Moody, which is without any glitter. And I've been wearing it over my nude lipsticks. And it makes my lipsticks more rich and more juicy. So, loving it. Other one is Bubbles. And it's a dew for Fenty Diamond Glow. It's like a silver glitter lip gloss. Let me put it on. Very beautiful. Stunning! Also smells really good. 
Next is candles and these are my favorite candles from Bath & Body Works. First is the Fresh Blossom and I burn this candle every year in the month of January. I love this candle so so much. It smells so fresh. It smells like you are in middle of a forest and it reminds me of my college days. I spent my college days in the mountains so it's very refreshing and very nostalgic to me. And this is my all time Bath & Body Works favorite candle. I have so many Bath & Body Works candles but this one is my favorite and the other one that I tried in the month of January is the Tree Farm candle and I got it because it also has fresh balsam so I knew that I would like it and yes I burned this a lot in the month of January and it's like a sister of fresh balsam and it's more intense you can say but if you want something that smells so fresh and like a forest fresh balsam is your babe. I have burnt it quite a lot as you can see and it's so strong and intense that your whole house will smell like forest. Forget about your room, your whole house will smell like fresh balsam. It's so intense. I'm somebody who doesn't like sweet scents so if you're like me, you can blindly go for these candles. Now we have the Nika nail paints and you know I love Nika nail paints, okay? And they recently launched the Nika breathable range and this is probably my second favorite after the matte range. These are so easy to apply, so easy to remove. Also, it does not make my nails look yellow like I've been wearing nail pins for the whole month of January and my nails still look healthy. It does not look yellow, you know, when you use a lot of nail pins. Also, the shade range is pretty. So I'm going to name some which I wore most in the month of January. So this is the shade Lazy Lilac. I love lavender and lilac nail pins. Other one is the Sea Breeze. It's a powder and baby blue shade love this shade and this is from K Beauty and it's called Sun Rays. Also this nude nail paint that I'm wearing today, I will link it in my description box. Let's move on to some body care and skincare favorites and I will start with the Yo Glow Enzyme Scrub by Wishful and this scrub I use the most in this month. I have a full review on this so click this link. It has AHAs, BHAs, pineapple extract, papaya extract, it has some enzymes like bromelain enzyme, papain enzyme which is more gentle for your skin but it also has a lot of fragrance so if you're allergic to fragrance do not use it and it gives that instant glow to my face. Love it and if you haven't used the chemical peels you can start with the Yo Glow Enzyme Scrub. It's more gentler I feel. It gets rid of my blackheads, whiteheads. If you have hyperpigmentation, darkness, dull skin, textured skin, this will work. Now these two are the sleeping masks which I use the most in my night skincare routine in the month of June. January. In this month, I've been living my life as a blanket burrito. It's been so cold, so dark, so gloomy. So few times I've been feeling too cold and too lazy to do my skincare routine. So I would just slap these two sleeping masks on my skin and go back to sleep. This is the Clear's Midnight Blue Calming Cream. And other one is the Dr. Shet Haldi and Hyaluronic Acid Sleeping Mask. If you want the glow on your face, Dr. Shet one. And if you want that soothing effect and plumpness on your skin, Claire's Midnight Blue Calming Cream. I'll be honest and admit, in this month, I felt so cold and lazy. So I just used and layered these two creams on my skin and went to sleep. My winter body care, shower care favorite are these bath salts from the body care and it's in the lavender. Put one spoon of this bath salt in your hot water bucket and see the magic. Like it will take away your body pain and tiredness. Legit. Since we are on the topic of body care, I've been loving these two in my body skincare. This is the body milk from Nika. This is the strawberry range and this body milk is so amazing. Like this is my favorite from the whole strawberry range. Body milks have more oil concentration than your body lotions. So it makes them more nourishing for the skin. Also the Nika Body Butter Strawberry range, they also have the mini version of it. It's for 250 rupees which is pretty affordable and it's a dupe of Body Shop Strawberry Body Butter. Next favorite in my body care category is the shower gel from Nika and this is their sea salt shower gel and let me tell you that this is one of my top favorite shower gel because it smells literally like beaches. So refreshing. It smells 
if ocean had a smell it would smell like this like this is such a unique and unisex scent if you are a guy you can use the shower gel i also have the body lotion but i love the shower gel more and all three of these have featured in my shower routine video so you can click on this link if you want to watch something soothing and relaxing I also have some makeup favorites which I discovered in this month and also used the most in this month. So I will start with my favorite K-Beauty blush and this is the shade Soft Nude. It was also featured in my 2020 favorites and I have used this blush the most in this month. This will suit all Indian skin tones. It's so gorgeous and also matte finish. Also it's super long lasting. I've been really loving this blush and raving about it and it goes with every makeup look. So love this and the eyeshadow palette that i discovered in this month is from elf this is the pumpkin pie it gives a beautiful nude eye makeup look and these shimmers are so intense i have done a makeup tutorial using this eyeshadow palette so i will link it here and yes this is my first drugstore eyeshadow palette which i really liked and loved and would recommend to you now the first primer that I actually really loved and liked again from e.l.f. and this is a poreless putty primer. This primer makes my makeup look so flawless and it makes my pores invisible. Like I've been loving this primer a lot. I did a video where I tried the e.l.f. makeup, newly launched e.l.f. makeup and I have not stopped using it since then and it has a putty consistency and I have used it in my e.l.f. makeup video so you can watch that makeup tutorial. Now let me show you my fashion favorites. For the month of January, I have this sweatshirt. This is again from Zara, their basic sweatshirt. I will link it in my description box. It's so comfy and it's so soft. I love it. I am basically living in these sweatshirts. Also, this sweatshirt which i wore in today's video can you still see me there's no electricity in the house i hope you can see me because i wanted to talk about my favorite gay dramas of this month first is definitely true beauty oh my god i've been loving that show and it's also pretty funny i love han Jun. which team are you team suho or team han Jun? i am han Jun. I'm also watching Run On, which I loved a lot. I would highly recommend that I've talked about it. But the K-drama that I watched in the month of January that I loved and binged in two, three days, and it's the Mr. Sunshine. It's a classic. It's about the time when there was a freedom movement, beginning of the freedom movement in Korea. And the history of Korea and India is pretty similar. Like they got independence at the same time, pretty new countries. I also love the fact that characters spoke so many languages like Chinese, Japanese, Korean, English. It was around that time when all of these countries were trying to, you know, just gain dominance and power in Joseon, which is known as Korea now. How Korean people fought for their freedom. It was around that time of imperialism when India was also, you know, fighting from British people. And we have the electricity. So the story is revolving around a woman, a noble woman who is trying to get freedom. And she's a part of the secret army. So I will not spill more of it you need to watch the show and it's my january favorite like classic favorite you need to watch this show it's so beautifully shot everything is so perfect about it and the second leads are also very powerful and the supportive characters are also they also have a backstory like just perfect mind-blowing and let me know if you have any k drama suggestion in my comments down below and yes kitties that's it for today's video all of these products will be mentioned in my description box will be linked in my description box and i will see you soon i hope you enjoyed my january favorites and if you like this video if i get a good response i will keep it monthly like i will post my monthly favorites every month so let's see how we get the response and do not forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you soon bye